Some may say it is a way to solve the problem, others would say, no, that's making it worse. But I, uh, <laughs> I found it very humorous. Ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't meant to be out here, so it's great to look at your smiling faces. You're still having fun, yes? Yeah. Good. Next act right now, it is Stephen Power! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to explain something to you. <laughs> I have a very irrational fear of microphone stands. <laughs> I don't like the joke either, but you know, humour me. Hello. Okay. Well, back at state finals, right? I was the only person that wasn't from Brisbane, not a Queensland. I come from Rockhampton, so beef capital of Australia. Yeah, and um, they like they all reckon I was pretty bogan. And, <laughs> that's not the funny part. <laughs> I asked them why. They said, "That's the way you dress, mate." Where I come from, I look like a bloody model citizen. <laughs> you remember those um, you know, biscuit things? They were like shapes, but they had a Vegemite flavour, and that was like feel for bogans across the nation. That was like the pinnacle of bogan technology. It blew flannelette shirts and mullets right out of the water. <laughs> Honestly, how lazy do you have to be? Someday, a bloke is probably just sitting there, he's got his Vegemite, his chicken grippies, he's watching TV. <laughs> they both enter his line of sight. <laughs> Struth! Someone get me the number for Arnott's! <laughs> From that day forward, he was referred to as the bogan master chef. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, yeah, at Rockhampton, right? Now, People all over from Australia, they reckon those Queenslanders are the Bogans. Now, Rockhampton isn't helping that stereotype, right? I live two kilometres away from my school. On the way there one morning, I saw 42 Utes. <laughs> also, at the super cheap order, right? That's like where Rockhampton's finest go to shine. People from Rockhampton actually <laughs> dress up to go to the super cheap order. <laughs> They might as well just hire waiters to walk around with platters of castrol. <laughs> Excuse me, would sir care to ca um, sample some castrol GTS? It's true, mate. If it's free, I'll take the bottle. <laughs> I flew in yesterday from Rockhampton, right? Now, yeah, when I was at security, I thought to myself, imagine airport security at a military base. The guy, he'd be sitting there, watching his X-ray machine, pistol, high-powered rifle, grenade, Wait a minute. Excuse me, sir, could you step out of the line? Are these toenail clippers? <laughs> <laughs> Rockhampton's airport, right? That went completely under during the floods. And, like, the thing I hated most about the floods was whenever the news showed footage of people like helping out, they always go on about how it's the Australian spirit. It's the Australian spirit that's getting us through these difficult times. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure in America, whenever there's a plane crash, there isn't just a one lone Australian tourist trying to dig out the bodies. <laughs> All the Americans stand around going, What's that dickhead doing? <laughs> <laughs> what the foreign countries should do is get heaps of them big shipping container things, fill them full of Australians. <laughs> when there's a disaster, send them out. <laughs> What's this? An earthquake struck Christchurch. I need a shovel, a forex, and I'll be on my way. So I get on the plane, right, take my seat, relax. And this bloody buff woman, right, arms the size of me, gets on the plane. Have you seen these female bodybuilders? See, the way they're built, it's not one big muscle, it's like heaps of tiny little ones piled on top of each other. <laughs> to be honest, they look, like, they look like those hams with the string net around them. <laughs> now this is quite deceptive when you go to Woolworths. <laughs> Might just grab me a nice ham. What the hell? You're coming home with me. <laughs> yeah, so, like, on one end of the spectrum, you got your fit people, right? And on the other end, you got your fat people. Now, they've bonded together and got themselves a TV show. I bloody hate the biggest loser, right? I don't see the point in it. People say it's a great way to motivate, like, the larger community to lose weight. <coughs> There's an idea. Let's motivate fat people to lose weight by watching TV. <laughs> That's like saying, now Bob, we know about your drug addiction. To help you get over it, we're sending you on a holiday to Amsterdam. <laughs> I'd like to leave you with a thought if that's all right. A wise man once said, a good pun is its own reward. I'd like to say, a thousand dollars will be